What's up YouTube? Today we're going to be going over gun split close, how you can shut it down in Big Dime 146. If you guys did not watch the first video, be sure you guys go and watch it. And so let's go ahead and get into this. We're in the cover six press. Before we choose this play, we need to know that the offense, first off, we need to know that they're in split close. So you gotta wait just a hair. So let's go into the very basic HP will. The setup for this defense is going to be the exact same no matter what kind of play call that they do decide to run against you so hb will let's run it let's have strong side on the left side and so we're going to match that with cover six press this is where we get into the good stuff the quarters always need to be on the strong side they cannot be on the weak side they always have to match them where the two wide receivers are for this instance it's a tight end and a wide receiver there is way you can get two wide receivers in which that offensive ebook thank you d train for putting that together will be available on the website here shortly as well so we're going to go into the cover six press and we're always going to press so that's the first thing you always want to do when you're going against gun split close you always want to press don't baseline press just do a simple press now the way that this defense is going to be playing it's going to be a bend don't break style of defense we're okay with giving up check downs we're okay with giving up three yards eventually with adjustments we can take those away and then they're forced to pass either a corner out or take a sack when we start seeing pressure again this defense will be available the full defense will be available on maestroman.com so in gun split close this is how we're going to be running it we're always having quarters on the same side as the two wide receivers such as a and x you notice we have quarters over there so always make sure you have your best corners on the quarters kind of funny how that works out but jason mccord is going to be playing in safety stefan gilmore is going to be the one doing all the pressing because we need our best corner right there to give a good press so again Ben don't break with split close you have to be aware and you so will sometimes have to manually take away the wheel route there's a couple different things we're going to be aware of and that we need to have good users on to be able to fully lock this play down and that's two things X on the in route and RB on the wheel route we can pass this in route off, I believe it's to a vertical hook. Yeah, we can eventually pass it off to the vertical hook and then we can swing over to the wheel route. It's all one fluid motion and we will just completely and utterly bag this play. Now there's one adjustment we need to make to this defense and that is we need to double tap right on the D-pad and we need to hit A and we need to put him into a middle third. That's gonna take away that post route ran by the B receiver and then it's just gonna be completely shut down from there. So let's go ahead, snap this ball, and run it. Hopefully we can get a little bit of pressure right here. You can see in route, gets stuck, gets passed off eventually to, <laughs> to the vertical route. And by then, by the time the wheel route's about to get open, the pressure comes home. So again, press, you're always wanting to press. Never baseline press, always just press. Wide down the D-pad, really easy to do. Wide down the D-pad, and then Put A into a middle third. This is how I'm going to attack most HB wheels. Now, when we get into PAY shot and all this other stuff, again, that's going to be all broken down into maestroman.com. This is a very basic way you can shut down split close. The adjustments are going to be a little different. So let's go ahead, stop this ball. Hopefully, the receivers don't get stuck on each other this time and run their routes correctly. So, right here, we've got X passing over, and then we swing over. To RB and luckily the pressure is finally able to get home now you do notice that that in route does get open in game it's gonna play a little different in game that clock that's going to eventually just completely bail on that wheel route and come down to play the in route so again go ahead and do this one more time a on a middle third if you guys want more breakdowns of split close Let's go seven likes on this video and I'll break down PA Y shot. We're going to break this down into several different parts because there's a ton to cover with this. But for the most part, the way you run this defense is pretty much the same. So let's go ahead, snap the ball. Give it, we got A into middle third. We're taking away that post route. Got this in route. And you can see beautiful defense. Now when we go into instant replay, you guys will see what's going on. Now that time that vertical hook did match. Sometimes I don't fully get why he does and why he doesn't, but you can see that time he matches this post route. He doesn't always match him. It's honestly, if I'm being hundred with you guys, it's random. So don't expect him to match every single time. It's always safer. It's safe. How, how's the saying go? Whatever it is, always put a middle third right here to take away that post route. If they decide to throw it, click on pick. This vertical, some, most often will actually just stay down 
and then you can pass off that in that deep in route to the vertical hook and then sometimes we'll match them as well and then chase after this wheel route this wheel route in game at least in game is all pro so it's probably a little different this is all madden this cloud flat will often come down and play this in route for you which will allow you to just chase down this wheel route and bag that manually now with that being said that's kind of how you're going to run this defense against HBOL. When we go on to the left side, you can see that the, the check down is open. It is. And on the other side, it is also. But again, this is a bend, don't break. If you want to take that away, a simple shade underneath, or what I would actually rather do in this situation is put a hard flat over there manually. By shading underneath, this wheel route is going to get open even more so, and it's going to get open too quickly for a user to actually get over there and cover it so clap that is better to play on this side of the field if they want to take their little check down right here you get hopefully have a hard hitting safety that can just either force the ball out and cause a fumble or really just contain it from getting too big of a game same thing with this side of that curl flap you notice we go he will play this corner out if they decide to throw it but you notice he does come down and play this table out late if they throw it early curl flat there double coverage triple coverage on that corner out still double coverage and eventually stefan gilmore what ends up happening with him is he will bail on this corner out and chase down this inner and i don't know why he does that so delayed but that's just how this is going to play so that's why you have to manually take away this in route, and you can see everything else is completely bagged Again, seven likes on this video and we will go over a PAY shot. For those wondering that this full defensive scheme after this mini scheme is complete will be available on Maestro Man. That's going to include how you can blow up inside zone, how you can shut down stretch plays out of it, toss plays out of this, as well as sending the heat when you need to. It is really easy to do and it's a really solid defense that most people are going to struggle against because it's a hybrid defense with cover four quarters. And a, and a Tampa 2 on the other side. So this is how I'd go about shutting down HB Wheel. Again, the user's there to take away this in route. And there is 100% nobody opened at all. So this is how I'd go about shutting down HB Wheel. If you guys have any questions, you can let me know down below in the comment section. And we will continue on with this defensive mini scheme. I appreciate all you guys rode to 1K. Let's get it. And until next time, guys, let me emphasize this. I always say at the end of the video, but this these next videos are going to be so key for this. Lab this. Lab it. Figure out what works. If you guys play ultimate team, please have a good enough team to run the quarters defense. If you have a 69 overall or a 59 overall or a 72 overall or 80 overall, you don't have the corners that are good enough to be able to run this properly. I'm sorry, but that's just how it is. This is why I like running it in regs because I can choose a team that have good corners to be able to run my defense so with that being said get in the lab if you guys are playing must start grinding or some dish some money into that and i will see you guys in the next one